Welcome back, and we've just reached our top of descent from 40,000 feet down to Toronto. And I thought this was the perfect time to do a quick break to vacate tutorial in the INI Build A350. So let's dive right in. Hop into the captain's seat, and there's only one major prerequisite to actually making this work, and that is you have to have a uh, destination airport and a runway selected. So here on our FMS page, if you're not on that page, you click flight plan and you click on the actual destination with the cursor like that. And then you just need to select a runway. As you can see, I already have the ILS-23 selected. You don't have to put an approach in, but uh, you know, it doesn't hurt. So go hit return. That's all you need to do there. And now we are gonna actually look back here at our, um, our map and we wanna move our map to the plan mode like that and then move our zoom controller back to zoom and then uh for me i've actually already preloaded this but it might actually take a few seconds uh to load in the airport map um so don't worry if it freezes up or locks up a little bit that's kind of normal it's loading in a lot of information but once it loads up you should see something like this i'll zoom in nice and close so you can see and so uh if you do not have a navigraph subscription you're gonna go to the landing page all right we'll click on landing by the way if you want to get your cursor over here you should be able to just click it but if it doesn't do it you can click on nd right here and that'll actually move your cursor from the MFD to the uh, ND right here. So we have that selected. You're gonna wanna put in your landing perf code, like you put like dry or wet right here. And then you're gonna wanna put in the actual like landing distance that you need uh, for break to vacate to actually, you know, work. So runway 23 shows 3000 and some meters and you just have to calculate what your landing distance is and then put that number right there. Uh, if you do have a Navigraph subscription, it's much easier, much faster. I'm gonna click on Airport Select. As you can see here, it's already actually loaded up uh, my destination airport, but if it has not, you can click on it on the right side here. It'll only show basically the airports that you have in your FMS. So that's why you gotta have that selected. And then click on Display Airport if it's not displayed already. And after that, you're good to go. As you can see, it was already kind of set up for me pretty easily. If you wanna zoom in the map, you can actually take your zoom controller and zoom in and zoom out just like that and so what i want as you can see here we have runway two three with the little green arrow that means that's the runway that i currently have selected for uh arrival in my fms that's why it's important to have that and then we have this uh little line that says dry and wet can you see that yeah dry and wet so the weather for us currently in toronto is pretty clear but it's it's a little bit snowy so it might be a little slushy so we're gonna go with wet just to be safe I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. So all I need to do is select a taxiway after the dry or wet line. So H4 should be perfect. I'm going to click on that. That's going to pop up this menu and I can select set BTV exit and boom. Now it shows exit hotel four for the taxiway and all that. Now, one other thing you can do is if you go over to the right hand side and you hit this little knob right here, runway condition and brake action, all you gotta do is scroll that or click on that now you can see you can actually change your you know parameters you have dry you have wet you have uh, composite snow you have snow slip so there's various lines you got water slush that you know all these things may actually uh you know extend your your landing roll you have even ice on here so for us like i said um i'm just gonna leave it with the wet i think it's good there but if you need something more specific you can use that knob and then to hide that, just click up on it and it'll hide that away. And then the last step is just to click on auto break. Once you click on auto break, you'll then see BTV on your main screen and you're all set. Break to vacate is armed. It's really that easy. 200 minimum. Air Canada 403, welcome to Toronto. Contact ground on 119 or decimal one. 50. 40. Air Canada 766, 20. contact departure. 10. Contact the passenger, Air Canada 766. Alright, there's a rollout. Activate reversers, BTV is boxed in, which means it's activated. And it's gonna break us. Before we get to H4, I'm not pressing the brakes myself, just letting the auto brake handle it. Here comes H2. And this next one should be H4. Very nice. Perfect. And then to deactivate BTV, you can tap your brakes. 
And now we have control of the brakes. And we'll give it a little bit of power, come out of the reverse, and let it roll on out and exit the runway to the left. And that Air is... Airfriend 116, welcome to Toronto. Contact ground on 119 or decimal 1. Well, I hope this was helpful to you. If you need any more help in the A350, you can check out any of my other A350 tutorials. But enjoy. Thanks for watching. Remember, you have three choices. Give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I will see you guys next time next video. I'm out.